Hi, this is Brad Linder with Mobile Computing, and I'm taking a look at Fennec, which is the mobile version of Firefox. It's still pre-alpha software, it's in the early testing phases, but um, it's moving along pretty nicely, and the uh, developers recently started putting out uh, nightly builds, which means that uh, pretty much every night there's going to be a new version. Um, you can see it still loads a little bit slow. Uh, the user interface I'm finding is, is kind of sluggish, but the page rendering is pretty good now, and you get a good uh, demonstration of what it's going to look like when the, uh, the browser is done. So first thing is when you load the browser you'll see that there's a new start page. Um, the uh, uh, tabs that were open the last time you closed are shown. Uh, some recommended add-ons are shown and that's about it. Now if you scroll to sort of pull the screen over you can see that you've got uh, the ability to bookmark, go forward or backwards or go to your settings. Scroll the other way and you see a list of open tabs or the new tab menu. Um, let's take a quick look at some of the settings here. We've got the About page where you can uh, go to Page, Start Page, Show Images, Enable JavaScript, Allow Cookies, Remember Passwords. Uh, here's the download screen. There weren't any downloads recently, so there's nothing there. And Add-ons, which um, there's not a ton of add-ons right now, but one of the things that really makes the desktop version of Firefox special, of course, is the ability to add thousands of uh, different add-ons that change the functionality. And here you, uh, you have a couple that are built in, including Wikipedia Search, Twitter Search, Amazon Search, Google Search. There's a YouTube enabler extension. Uh, it's supposed to enable Flash video on YouTube. I installed it and it didn't really seem to do much. There's Adblock, um, Problem Reporting. Twitter bar uh, Weave Browser Sync, which should let you synchronize with the desktop version of Mozilla uh, uh, Firefox. And uh, you can click here to view more add-ons. So it's coming along pretty nicely, and uh, I was able to install an add-on. Like I said, it didn't really seem to do much, but this is pre-alpha software still. Um, let's go back, and uh, let's open a page. So let's go to the new tab page, and it shows uh, you can see all your bookmarks, uh, recently run pages. It's basically the same sort of thing that you would see if you went to um, the, uh, the location bar in the desktop version. So let's load mobile computing. And you'll see, you know, it renders reasonably quickly here, considering we're on a phone. So the sidebar is still loading, and it's pretty much loaded now. So you can scroll around to the bottom, there we go. And now the page is completely loaded. You can double t double click to zoom in and out. Um, there seems to be pretty much just one zoom level. There's in or out, and that's it. And it's a little bit slow to, uh, to respond, as I mentioned. Now, when you are zoomed in, at least on the Nexus 1 with its uh, high resolution screen, it's still pretty hard to read in um, uh, portrait mode. If you rotate it to landscape mode, though, and zoom, it's actually not bad. There's no multi-touch zoom. Um, it doesn't do the pinch to zoom that you uh, expect from other browsers. And it can still be a little bit tricky to navigate because you sort of pull right, you pull left as you're navigating through the screen, and it's pretty easy to accidentally pull up the tab page here on the on the side or the settings page. Uh, information on the other side. It'd be nice if you had to maybe pull a little bit harder, or maybe if you scrolled to the edge and then had to swipe again or something. But uh, again, you know, pre-alpha software, there's plenty of time for things to change. You can see it's uh, pretty quick and easy to switch between tabs, and you get a list of your running tabs. Let's open up uh, even another one here. Sometimes I found that the uh, keyboard doesn't like to come up when I there we go. And so now it's loading the New York Times website. And you'll see in the sidebar that we now have three different open tabs. Uh, this one's not fully loaded yet, so if there's no uh, thumbnail picture. But now it is. Wait, no, it's still not. Okay, now it is, and we've got a little thumbnail picture. So there you go. That's basically uh, uh, what you can expect from the nightly build of 
Firefox Mobile, or Fennec for Google Android. It's available for Android 2.0 and up. It's been tested on the Motorola Droid and the Google Nexus One, and uh, should work on both. There's no auto-update utility yet, so even though they're putting out new versions pretty much on a daily basis at this point, um, you're going to need to uninstall your uh, previous installation of Fennec and install a new one if you want to test out the new one. Uh, hopefully auto updates will be on the way soon. This is Brad Linder for Moby Puting, and uh, I do know the name of my website, and uh, this is Fennec Pre-Alpha for Google Android.